Hello guys. So in this video, we'll be discussing uh, that what we should be doing in week number seven. I believe you must have gone through all the six weeks suggestions which I have made, and you must have gained good confidence in this particular section. Now in week number seven, we'll be continuing the uh, our learning in the data interpretation section. So in week six, we focus on the table graph. In week seven, I'll recommend to focus on the bar graph. Among all the different types of graph within data interpretation, bar graph is the most easiest one, right? It is the most easiest one to figure out. And as I already told in the previous videos that CAT is giving heavy weightage to table graph, bar graph, etc., which are very easy to at least interpret. So in this week, we have to focus on bar graph. The time is, uh, I believe that you should not be taking much time in this particular week. The reason being that most of the questions related to data interpretation from the bar graph are of a lower difficulty level. I'm not saying that you'll not be getting a higher difficulty level question, but usually they are of lower difficulty level. And since the interpretation of data from the bar graph is not difficult to make, hence the challenge is not that much. And as far as the number of sets are concerned, anything around 10 to 15 sets in the first round of your preparation within this particular topic should be sufficient. And I'm, I have kept the LOD level of difficulty open. You can solve any difficulty level. I have no bar on that. You can take the difficult level uh, uh, sets also. But yes, obviously you should be following the order. That is, you should be exhausting first the, first the easy sets. Then you should go to all the moderate sets which we have provided. And then you should take up the difficult sets. Now, what should be the key focus area? Like table graph, wherein we have to focus more on the relationship of data given in the table. And if there are multiple tables, we have to connect the data. Similar sort of uh, approach, we have to follow this. And while going through these sets, you will come across various types of bar graphs. So you have to uh, be in a position to read the data from different types of graphs. You'll be getting vertical graphs. You'll be getting horizontal graphs, right? You'll be getting some other graphs. We'll have mixed up with uh, horizontal and vertical both. Something like that. So you'll be getting varieties in, in a way wherein the bar graph can be represented or data can be represented within the bar graph. Among all these different types of bar graph. Now apart from understanding the different uh, ways wherein the bar graphs are uh, uh, plotted, you should give extra attention to those type of sets where the bar graph has a data which is based on cumulative frequency. Because in CAT, heavy weightage is given to bar graph which is based on frequency cumulative frequency based data so i'll recommend to give some extra attention to these kind of sets right and as i have provided enough number of uh, practice sets in the course itself with a video explanation so do pay attention to the approach which we follow to collect the data and the processing of the same right so this week is my suggestions and in the next video i'll give you what you should be doing for week number eight